the rumor started to make its way around Hallmark that we were going to be talking to Red. Um, people came from every part of the company and said, um, you know, I have this writing, if they're a writer, I have this writing that I did a while ago and I think it would really work. Or designers would say, I did this project and, um, you know, I think it really fits in. Or people would, you know, just stay up late at night and do something completely new and bring it in the next morning. But um, it was it was fun because so many people felt connected to this cause. They um, felt that somebody needed to be working on um, the issue of AIDS in Africa, and they wanted that person to be them. They wanted to make a difference. I came upon a piece of writing by a writer named Jim Howard. He's been at this company for more than 25 years. And there's a line in there that just really touched me, and it says, believe in a thousand impossible things you've never believed before. And that became a mantra or um, a battle cry, <laughs> almost, um, a real, it became the mission for us to believe in this project, to believe that we could make a difference and believe that um, we could be part of something bigger than um, our everyday lives here at Hallmark. And an illustrator, her name is Mirna Kantarevic, she picked it up and she thought she had that same feeling that I did that yes this is this is it this is what we're trying to say um, she designed she illustrated around this and then a lettering artist named Sarah Cole took that beautiful piece of writing and uh, created the lettering that you see here it just became our motto for the team believe in a thousand impossible things you've never believed before and now we can all send it to everyone so <laughs> it's even more fun